he had always been fascinated by death. Ever since he was a child, he would collect skulls, bones, and other macabre objects. He would study them, draw them, and write about them. He wanted to understand the mystery of life and its inevitable end. He became a painter, a master of still life. He used a limited palette of greys and browns, creating a samba mood in his works. He arranged his objects on a pitted stone ledge, as if inviting the viewer to touch them and feel their coldness. He painted skulls, quills, glasses, and lamps, all symbols of life's brevity. He painted with close observation and realistic detail, but also with explicit symbolism. He wanted to convey a message, a warning, a reminder. He was Peter Cleese, a Dutch artist, and this was his masterpiece, still life with a skull and a writing quill. He painted it in 1628, at the height of his career. He was proud of his work, but he also knew that it was not enough. He knew that he could not escape death, that his paintings would outlive him, that his name would fade away. He knew that he was just a mortal, a speck of dust in the vastness of time. He looked at his painting one last time, and then he picked up his quill. He wrote a few words on a piece of paper, a farewell note, a confession, a prayer. He placed the paper next to the skull, and then he toppled the glass. He watched the liquid spill out, and then he blew out the lamp. He closed his eyes, and waited for the darkness to take him. He was ready to face death, to see what lies beyond. He hoped that his painting would speak for him, that it would inspire others, that it would make a difference. He was wrong. His painting was forgotten, lost, ignored. It was stored in a dark attic, covered with dust, hidden from sight. It was not until centuries later that it was rediscovered, restored, and exhibited. It was admired, praised, and studied. It was considered a masterpiece, a treasure, a legacy. It was given a name, a date, and a place. It was still life with a skull and a writing quill, Peter Cleese, Dutch, 1628. But no one knew the story behind it, the story of the painter, the story of his life and death. No one knew what he wrote on that piece of paper, what he felt, what he thought. No one knew him, no one remembered him, no one cared. He was right. He was just a mortal, a speck of dust in the vastness of time.